because I'm going to turn on the air compressor here. I'm going to show you what I do do here. But first of all, this is what I what I call multitasking. I've got a deer hide in the rinse. I'm going to hang it up while I'm doing that and let it dry. Let it drain. I'm going to let that drain. And then tomorrow, I'll let it drain, get the water out of it, put it in the refrigerator tonight, and they'll be ready to mount. What I do with, first of all, with my paint, is I do my black first. I do everything about on deer and elk and that and burn umber. It's a good color. Uh, seems like it works out good. You end up with a, a real good match. Go ahead and get it ready to go. Blow the water out from cleaning it the last time. And then what you do is you just go ahead and dust. Dust your eye. Wherever you had wherever you had a uh, black or wherever you put epoxy sculpt, your gray epoxy sculpt, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit that with your airbrush. What you want to do is just kind of blend it in. Blend that baby in there like so. What I do is I do the nose. My airbrush just isn't working with the darn, and I don't know why. So what I do is uh, sometimes you have to tweak them a little bit to get them to go. I'm uh, I'm hard on airbrushes for some reason. I don't know why. I just am. Anyway, what you want to do is just go ahead and get. Now, a lot of people will say. Especially on deer, I've, I've seen this before, people will say, well, do the inside of your nostrils, people will say, well, deer have three or four different colors on their noses. They do sometimes, but not all the time. I've seen enough deer, I've looked at hundreds and hundreds of deer up close, maybe, well, even thousands of them, and uh, some of the noses are they have different colors in here toward the bottom. Some of them are, are gray. They're just, uh, or I mean black. There's no set rule in nature where everything is. Just because. I'm going to spray the inside of the ear. What I do is I use what they call an antique white. It gives you a pretty good off-white color. It's antique white. Spray the inside of that real good. And you can come back and give that a second coat too. Their ears are pretty fuzzy on the inside. I suppose some people probably don't even spray them, but I do. You never know. Okay. Okay, we got the inside of the ears. I know we're going to end up spraying them again. Maybe. Depends. Sometimes if your paint's a little runny, It'll, it won't look too good, so you have to go over and give it a second coat. This is actually looking okay. Okay, we got that. Now what we're going to do, is I'm cleaning up my airbrush. You clean out the barrel of your airbrush, my pressing your finger over the end and forcing it up out of there. 
and it cleans up a lot quicker. And I run some hot water through that. Still going. The reason I do it in that order is I do the eyes with black and then I go and do the ears. That gives the eye a chance to dry. I can go ahead and get my burn umber ready to go and uh, we'll go ahead and paint it. And that'll give it a nice brown color. Go down the tear duct, go around the eye. You ever have one of those days where you try to get things done and you can't get it done? Well, that's mine right here. Just had some guys come in, pick up some stuff, and end up and getting roped into talking a little bit. And that happens a lot in this business here. You end up talking a lot. And what we're doing, we're finishing this gear. This well, uh, elk. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm doing the eyes now. I'm just giving it. We sprayed it with black. Remember, just to get it. Uh, cover that gray up so now we're and while I was doing the ears the, the black dried on the eye now I'm going back with the burnt umber and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the brown on here and uh, if it's not dark enough we can come back and hit that with a little black and that'll that'll uh, darken that right up but anyway we're gonna I'll probably come back and do this again. My well, eyes, the inside of the nostrils, things like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and. Now, if you got any place around the antler base that might need a little touch up, if you got, doesn't look quite right, go ahead and hit it with that. Anyway, we're going to clean this brush up. Most of the time, a deer's nose is. Uh, there's a lot of moisture on it, same way with an elk. Uh, what we're doing is we're just going to work from here and we're going to dimple this lip so it's got a little texture to it. Just like so, just kind of crisscross and that. And that way it'll just give a little bit of texture to that lip. Otherwise you don't want a real smooth lip. You look at their lips, they aren't that way. And that way when you add this Mod Podge later, it'll be just little bumps showing there. And uh, that's the way I do that. And then we'll come back later. I'm going to do the nose too because I like the nose dimpled. On this one here, you really wouldn't have to because the nose turned out just so perfect from mounting it that you could just give this a, a top coat of this and it'd look pretty darn good just follow the black around you look at their nose they got kind of a kind of a rough nose I mean it's smooth but it's not what you'd call I think it's all uh, I don't know what it's all it's like segmented pieces in there and This will be a good one, though. This will be a nice elk. The guy will be happy. And I hope that you guys can use these videos because, if anything else, it takes a lot of time to make them. And I, I just hope people can get some use out of them.